Hi Aquarius, this is Alex. And I'm here to bring you your weekly tarot reading. I hope you guys are doing well and taking care of yourselves. <laughs> These cards are so stiff. Um, let's see what God Angels Universe has for you, Aquarius. As I've mentioned in other videos, people question these readings and that's fine. It is what it is, but we are guided as readers to note, you know, to shuffle the cards, you know, up until a certain point. And when we receive that stop and go, we stop and go. Queen of Wands, Ten of Cups, Two of Swords, Five of Swords, Five of Swords, Star Card, Aquarius. Yeah, I'm reading for Aquarius. Three of Wands. So you showed up in your own reading. Do you want somebody? I feel like you're highly attracted to somebody and you want them or someone's highly attracted to you and they want to build and make a life with you, but you're not necessarily sure because you don't know if they want you for you or if they want you for what you can provide them is what I get. You ever hear somebody and they're like, you love me, but why do you love me? And the person is like, I don't know. I just love you. That's kind of how I'm feeling here. It's almost like this person wants you, but they can't necessarily justify. Not that they should, and look what falls out, the justice card. Not that they should have to be able to justify, because love as a feeling, as an emotion, it's hard to justify why, what is what it is that you do that it activates that feeling. But when it comes to the Ten of Cups, of course, spending the rest of your life with me, now, yeah, I need some information. And I feel like for you, Aquarius, look at you got the three of wands twice. Yeah, you're you're waiting on that information. You're waiting. I don't know if you're waiting on a feeling. You're waiting on this person. You're waiting for them to give you a valid excuse or reason. You're waiting for them to get their shit together. You're waiting for them to want you back. But you're double waiting. It's almost like maybe both of you guys are waiting for each other to give each other some sort of sign that we can kind of quote unquote move forward. You have the Ten of Cups, you have the um, Four of Wands, and then you also have the Lover. So this says to me, yes, this reading is about a relationship. You have Gemini, you have um, Pisces, and then you also have, <laughs> sorry, you have Cancer here. And then you also have um, Libra here with the Justice card. And of course, Aquarius there with the uh, Star card. Right? So I do kind of feel like you do want their love or you want a love like theirs or you want love. But to an extent, I feel like with this five of swords and the two of swords, you're having the hardest time trusting and, and or believing that they're genuine in this or that they want the same things you want. Or for some of you too, this could be you not necessarily knowing if this person is your person now in looking at this here you know this has become my soulmate's card so it looks as though yeah this could be your person this could be your person um this i was just thinking to myself let i don't see any tens or let me look to see because i was looking here my line of vision i was like look for tens and then i looked up and saw the ten of cups there so um Aquarius, yeah, this looks to be your person, okay? And I feel like, again, there's a strong attraction here, but I feel like, Aquarius, you being an air sign and being in your head, you're trying to analyze the attraction. You're trying to analyze the attraction for a lot of you guys. Oh, oh, I just heard, sexually speaking, it's almost like this person may hit the mark. They just top 10. But it's almost like, is this person, you know, you know, they're, they're, they could be a wonderful lover, but could they be a best friend? Could they be a wife? Could they be, you know, a daughter-in-law to my parents? So it's almost like you could be led by this person in the attraction that you feel towards them. 
but you're trying to figure out, okay, what else comes with this package? I mean, I'm crazy about this person, but it's like, what else comes with this package? Are they wife material? Could this person, you know, they, they make me happy for now, but you know, could they make me happy for the rest of my life as well? That's something I feel like you're doing some deep thinking on and you're wanting some universal interaction on. I don't know, um, Aquarius, I'm getting that something in your gut just doesn't sit right, which I think is why you're hesitant to make, an, make a decision. Something in your gut is not sitting right as far as whether or not you can trust this person. And that's what it is. Okay, that makes sense now. With that three of wands, you're wait yeah. You're waiting for the other shoe to drop like a mug. There it is. Look at that. I, I said to myself, where are the tens? I feel like, yeah, you wanna you wanna go the distance maybe with this this person, but for some reason there's some sort of gut suspicion that's making you hesitant. Maybe you wonder if this person has other yeah, no, sorry. I was gonna say maybe you're wondering if this person has other options, but it's not that. You're wondering if this person can fulfill these other cups. You're wondering what's in this person's other cups. You know what I mean? As in, you know, again, you're great sexually. You're great passionately. I feel very passionately about you, but can you cook? Woo! You're afraid of making a wrong decision and being disappointed again, which is why you're asking God angels and uh, you're asking for universal intervention. You don't want to make the same mistake again. You've been down this road before where you thought somebody was the one. I mean, we all have Aquarius, by the way. But you thought somebody was the one and you were, like, terribly wrong. Well, that's different, right? A card of Scorpio there. This queen of, queen of swords. Um, are you trying to sabotage your relationship, Aquarius, to buy yourself some time? So you don't have to commit to this person? Are you waiting and looking for the other shoe to drop? Because once that shoe drops, you don't have to go through with trusting this person. Look at the, the high priestess again, twice. Cancer. I'm going to say something to you, Aquarius. And again, this video, videos are entertainment purposes only. You guys have free will. You could do whatever you want. But... I'm, I was just told and I just heard that you guys need to follow your heart and not your head. Perhaps the reason why you got into the trouble that you got into before was because you were following your head and not, what did, what did I say? Follow your heart and not your head. The reason why you got into trouble before was because you were following your head, but not your heart. Now, here's the thing. Some of you guys will say to me, no, Alex, that's why I got in trouble before because I was following my goddamn heart. And this time I'm trying to follow my head. That makes sense to me, right? I just caught that, by the way. Um, that makes sense to me, but I also kind of feel like to an extent, as part of making this decision, you're absolutely exclu excluding your heart. Your heart is activated here, right? But it's like, you know, forget that. Yeah, this person makes me feel good, but I need more. Or I need, you know, something else to kind of quote unquote go by, right? So it's almost like this is the, this is the problem and this is the issue right here. In a nutshell, to make this decision, it's a group effort. It has to be mental, physical, sexual, emotional, psychological. You got to check all of those boxes. I think for you, Aquarius, you are trying to make a decision from one of those boxes only, right? As in, this person has to mentally check out. God, angels, and universe are saying no, no. They have to mentally, physically, sexually, psychologically, financially, you know, health wise, they have to check out in all of those areas as well. So I kind of feel like for you, Aquarius, say for instance, now you know what to do or what can assist you with making that decision. Ace of Wands. I feel like that information angels just gave you was enough to move you out of this waiting period into the next phase and next stage of your relationship. All right, Aquarius, a uh, bit of a short reading this week, but anyway, um, if the reading does resonate, please feel free to like and subscribe since I'm talking like a robot. 
And if you're interested in a personal reading, my contact details are below. Love you, Aquarius. Bye.